Hello and welcome to this video explanation of Animatex version 1.0.4. I am Randy Risa, and what this plugin will allow you to do is to have animated textures right inside SketchUp. Okay, so once you install the plugin, what you do is you go to the toolbar section and you press this button provided that will allow you to have this web dialog. And before me explaining what each of these buttons do. Let me show you a very quick example of what you can achieve with Animatex. Okay, so let me hit play. And I have a scene of a house. And the effect that I want to create is that of falling snow. So if we go behind the scenes, what is really happening is I have three faces and I have applied a PNG texture to each of them with some snow painted on them with transparent background and the whole trick behind this is that you have to position the camera in such a way that it creates the illusion of of camera perspective so that it looks like it's really snowing when it's actually what's happening is really that the UV textures are being updated and, and modified 15 frames per second Okay, and the speed can be modified as well. Let's say I want to move on the x-axis instead of 4, I want to move faster. So I put 8 and you will notice that the snow is moving to the right faster. Same can be said if I want to move down faster, I just, instead of negative 5, I put negative 15 and that should give you the idea. Of course you have control of the, over the frames per second so right now we have 15 frames per second so if we change that to let's say 5 you will notice that it will update at that frame rate. Right, let's change it back to where it was. Now one thing that was very important that the previous version ha was having a problem was animating the texture while moving and transitioning through the pages. That wasn't done efficiently, so in this version the solution is to check this box over here that says fix. Once you check that and you transition to a page with a parameter of a camera, you will notice that the camera is animating while the texture is moving. And that wasn't always the case in the previous version. So this version is now fixed. Okay, so let's go back to the previous scene. Okay, let me see what else I can explain. The way you can set this up initially, uh, how Animatex recognize um, which faces to animate is that the face that you want to animate is put to a layer specific for the Animatex plugin. Okay, so in this case, if we go to the entity info and we select the face, you will notice that the layer that that face is applied to is to Animatex uh, slash one, okay, underscore one. And uh, let me reset this so that I can show you how to do this. And then the way I'm resetting it is I'm selecting that face and then I'm going over here under layer this button that I'm pointing on it's called remove so if I select a face and click that that will put that face on the default layer which is layer 0 okay so if you want to add the texture for animatex to recognize uh, you, I will explain what you do, but just to show you that if I hit play, nothing is animating. So to fix that, go to that face, and if that face is inside a group, you you cannot just select the group and click and click that group, because in reality, if you hit play, nothing is animated. So you need to go inside of that group, select the face, and then click the add button on, under the layer, which is a green button, okay? Right, so let's do this for the three faces. 
and now everything should be set so that when you position the camera and hit play everything should be animating and working well okay I think this is all for the first example please stay tuned for the next one I will explain a little bit more there